Hello, my name is Dr. Jeffrey McRae and I'm the bassoon instructor at Colorado Mesa University. This etude in C major will test your ability to play reasonably fast arpeggios. Take care to be observant of all of the articulation markings, the staccato marks, the slurs, and the accents. I strongly urge you to start practicing this etude at a much slower tempo than 138 to the quarter note. In your slow practice, try slurring everything. This can enable you to focus on using a consistent airstream, achieving accurate intonation throughout the arpeggios, and it tends to show you where you need to work out some of the inconsistencies in your finger motion. One problem I often hear from student bassoonists is that they try to play staccato notes as short as possible, and then very little pitch or resonance to the individual notes are heard. As you practice this etude at a slow tempo, don't attempt to make the staccato notes as short as possible. Just make sure that they are separate. <laughs> As you gradually increase the tempo, strive to ensure that the, that the staccato notes have a clear center to the pitch and that they are clearly articulated. Keep your tongue relaxed and try not to strike the reed with your tongue. With this etude, we also need to be vigilant about notes that are prone to cracking. Cracking is a complex problem and it can be due to a number of issues air speed, air pressure, reed problems, improper voicing, or finger technique. The range at the top of the staff in the bass clef from about the F sharp to the C above the staff is particularly cr prone to cracking, much of which can be addressed by better finger technique. In some cases, cracking is due to an improperly sized half hole opening or a failure to close the half hole opening on notes that do not require a half hole. For A, B flat, B, and C, it is possible to significantly reduce cracking by using the speaker keys. This is sometimes referred to as flicking or venting. If you're not yet familiar with the use of the speaker keys, this etude is a terrific opportunity for you to work on this skill. Make sure that you're using the correct speaker key for the various notes in this range. The high A key is typically used for A. The high C key is typically used for B flat, B, and C. If you are playing consecutive notes that use the same speaker key, you can hold down the key for all of these notes. I strive to use the speaker keys any time I am tonguing one of these notes. The speaker keys are also useful for smoothing out certain slurs that land on these notes, whether slurring from above or from below. Bear in mind that you still need to use proper airspeed and air pressure to get these notes to sound, but using the speaker keys correctly can significantly reduce cracking on the response of these notes. To achieve mastery with this skill, it is critical that you learn to move your thumb in an accurate and efficient way. Therefore, it is important to eliminate any unnecessary tension in your left thumb. I recommend lots of slow practice. Too often, I see young bassoonists struggle with using the speaker keys because they get attached to the whisper key and then the thumb jerks upward toward a speaker key. 
This is due to unnecessary tension while pressing down the whisper key. You only need enough pressure to make the key go down. Any extra pressure only makes it harder to release the key. It is also necessary to cultivate the ability to move your thumb slightly ahead of the rest of your fingers. In order to cover the distance between the whisper key and the speaker keys, or vice versa, one often has to release the key a bit early, sometimes while still playing another note, in order to get, the key, to, get to the key needed for the next note. Observe how I play measures one through two very slowly. Notice how my thumb travels as I move from the half hole G to the C above the staff. I want the speaker key for C to be open slightly before the note speaks. In order to do that, I have to move the thumb off of the whisper key before I'm done playing the G and upward toward the speaker key, depressing the speaker key slightly bef before I articulate the C. It is very possible to learn to use the speaker keys with accuracy, speed, and an absence of unnecessary tension. Observe how my thumb moves as I play measures one through eight at full tempo. Thank you.